In this video, I'm going to briefly discuss when and how to use other sources to support your discussion and analysis in your results and discussion sections. It might be surprising to be thinking about using other sources because often that's something we particularly associate with the literature review section. But actually, it's a really important part of the discussion as well. There are two main ways ways in which you use um, sources in your discussion when you're discussing your results. The first is to support your analysis to show where what you found fits with others and also just as importantly to show where your findings differ from previous research. Your instant reaction can be to want to to hide or ignore differences um, in findings, but actually this can lead to some of the most interesting discussion. So here have got an extract from a student's piece of writing to show when she's using um, sources to support her finding. So she writes, this is likely the result of high levels of transport consequent fossil fuel combustion within central Mas Manchester with transport frequency and therefore emissions decreasing with the distance from the city centre. And then as you can see in brackets, she's included um, a number of other um, writers who've had the same finding. In another place, however, she does mention sources that show that came to different conclusions or had different findings. Hargreaves et al also noted that urban sites close to the road displayed almost no seasonal variation due to the almost constant source of emissions. This, however, is not validated by the Manchester Piccadilly data. So you can see how clearly the student has stated this is not the same as the results that I have found. And that's really important. And we could, in following sentences, go on to discuss why that might be. So now we're going to look at the position of the reference in the sentence. I'm not talking here about what referencing system you use. So, you know, whether you use Harvard or Chicago, whatever method, use whichever one your um, supervisor has asked you to use. Um, the, but whichever method you use, the, the issue I want to think about is where in the sentence you put the reference. Sometimes we we move the position of it in the sentence just to add a bit of variety just move it around and um, actually we want to be thinking maybe even more than that about where we want the focus so you see in that first example from the student where she gave the she made the statement this is likely the result of blah 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 and then she ended with the references in brackets when we put references in the brackets at the end like this it is grammatically not in the sentence we wouldn't even if we were reading it normally bother to read out the information that is in brackets but it is there so we we kind of mentally note that there are other sources that have um, found the same thing and it helps to support or strengthen the statement that she has made in the second example however she puts Hargreaves actually grammatically in the sentence. What's more, it's actually the subject of the sentence, Hargreaves. So, you know, it's the total focus um, at the start of the sentence. And we do this when we want to really discuss um, the findings of another piece of research. But for some reason, we particularly want to focus on that person and their finding rather than um, just using to support um, our our own findings or we or rather than just wanting to focus on the idea and then back it up with with some evidence this is wanting to actually focus on the person or the piece of research and then discuss them so that's really important to think about is where do you want the focus in your sentence of course you could also use according to blah 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 blah, blah and that's another one where you're really drawing attention to the person or the study So we've just briefly looked at when to use sources in your when you're discussing your results and you're using them to either show where others support your research or to show where their research differs from your findings. And I've also said that I think it's really important that you 
think when you're writing that you think about where you want the reader to focus. If you want them to focus on the ideas, then put the reference in brackets at the end. Or if you want them to focus on the particular study, put that at the front in the subject position and then follow up with the idea afterwards.